All right, guys, we're gonna do a little unboxing of the area work boot. This is the Sierra wide square toe. Been in the market for a new work boot. I seriously hate tying my shoes. And it's not a being lazy thing. It's just, I like to be able to take them in and off, or on and off going in people's clients' houses and not have to sit there and dink around and tie my shoes and in and out of the house working. I just like to be able to slip them on and off and go. So never been much of a cowboy boot fan, but um, we're gonna try these out. You know, I've been just wearing, you know, tennis shoes on inside jobs and then, you know, either my muck boots or something like that on the outside jobs and then in the summer I'll wear my hiking boots which are a pain because then I gotta lace them up. So we're gonna give these a try and see how we like them. Ooh look at them boots. So, we got one, and we got two. I did go to my local store and um, try these on because my tennis shoes are a size 11. And if I would order a size 11, I would have been sending them back because they're way too big so these ended up being a size 9d from an 11 tennis shoe and i think my hiking boots are a 10 and a half so definitely definitely want to get down to your local store and either buy them there or try them on there and then order them i uh, got a little bit better deal online not too much but um it is what it is so these are the steel toed version these boots do come in the exact same work boot with a non steel toe but i figured you know if you're buying them i believe yeah i believe they're the same price so um why not have that extra peace of mind you know so there you go on the tag steel toe and then the electrical hazard and that just means i thought they were electrical hazard literally because of the steel toe but i guess that electrical hazard if you don't know is that they've been approved to um reduce the chance the chance of elect <laughs> electrocution um and it has to deal with a lot of the soul and i'm not sure i didn't get into too many details on why and what and you know the stipulations of getting that approval but um basically what it is is just the components of the soul will reduce the chance of being electrocuted in certain situations so and some jobs may require you to have that um, stamp on the boot being approved for that so You'll definitely want to double check that if you're looking at something else. Um, so we'll go. So this is the Sierra. I don't think I said that. The Ariat Sierra wide toe, wide square toe. Um, so it says extreme durability and high heat resistance. Best for harsh outdoor work and high heat environments. Railroad. Um, engineered for extreme environments and they give you a little breakdown of the sole here um, number one we got a moisture wicking layer a heel stabilizer a gel cushion footbed and when i tried these on they i could notice that gel footbed in there and i tried other ones that didn't have it and it was night and day so I think that's going to be a good component of this boot. 
um, lightweight composite fork shank, um, oil and slip resistant outsole for maximum wear resistant. And that's that. So they do fit snug, but um, hopefully I didn't make a mistake and buy them too small, but you literally have to pull them on. They don't just slide on and off, which you I want that ankle support there. So, I mean, it's not tough or anything, but I can feel some nice a um, little bit of pressure here and around here obviously unless you have bigger legs which I don't um, you're gonna have some extra room here keep extra goodies snacks and whatnot in there but uh, toe feels nice it's um, pretty snug around here and I'm hoping everything I read that they'll wear in a bit you know obviously leather stretches a little bit so we're going to give these a little coat of oil. I think um, I've used this on almost all my boots. Just this mink oil and it seemed to work fine. So it says for all color, colors, conditions and waterproofs, um, smooth leather. Yeah, kind of makes your toothbrush taste funky, but oh well. It's worth it if your feet stay dry. Get this camera out of here so that's kind of what they look like not too big of a sole there I definitely am NOT a fan of pointed boots so opted for the square toe so these run me about 150 bucks With free shipping, so pretty reasonable, I think. Hopefully, at least get a couple years out of them. And we'll give you all an update in a few months and tell you how I like them. See if I can get this camera pointed back in the right direction. Um, but yeah, so we'll do that. This says non-marking, slip resistant, oil resistant. I feel like they got a hard, um, you know, semi-hard sole, which is good for climbing ladders and around in the dirt and whatnot. They don't have too horribly, um, aggressive tread in there, which... Is good so it won't hold a lot of hopefully it won't hold a lot of mud and dirt and shit but we'll give her a try and give you guys an update down the road here ways so hope you guys enjoyed the video like comment and subscribe tell me what you think and give her a thumbs up see you on the next one guys